last time when I flashed this ROM in January 2018, this is what I had to say. And in my opinion, this custom ROM will only get better from this point. And right now I am using the March 13, 2018 build since 48 hours or more. So let's see if it's holding up well or not. Hey, what's happening guys? Hope you all are doing well. This is Tito back with another video. So let's make it happen. Here is how the about section looks like of this ROM if you are wondering. As you can see, the stop kernel over here is dominator kernel. Security patch of latest March 5th, 2018. And this ROM has OT updater like Lineage OS 14.1. But I am not sure if it automatically updates or not. I will let you know later on Twitter when this build gets an update. And last time when I tried the ROM, the launcher was different. Right now it's modded pixel launcher. Here is the launcher settings. You can change icon shapes if you want to. Here as you can see it says pixel launcher 3 mod. Yes as you can see you can scroll anywhere to the bottom on the home screen to get to the notification drawer and you have google now cards on the left. And in this rom we have a toggle option to directly search any music playing around you. And the settings icons used to be grey because there was no color manager option right now you can manage all the colors in the ui and you can change the accent colors on the left is the latest march 2018 build and on the right is the old build here is the customization options in this rom in owl's nest inside settings you will find all the customization options inside status bar we have battery percentage and style I have set the icon style to square and you can also change the percentage to show inside the icon. Next we have carrier label. After that we have clock option. Then we have status bar icons. From here you can enable 4G icon, headset, bluetooth icon etc. After that we have network traffic. Next we have quick settings customizations. In here, we have brightness slider, quick pull down, etc. But note that no option to customize column and row numbers present here. After that, we have notifications. From here, you can customize notification LED, enable or disable heads up option, and a few other options. After that, we have software buttons. Next, we have hardware key customizations. From here, you can enable advanced reboot which directly boots the phone into recovery or bootloader. And you can set screen off animation to CRT or scale like Resurrection Remix ROM. And we have long press power button torch toggle. Now let's see these two features in action. As you can see, CRT animation while locking the screen works fine. And long pressing the power button to toggle torch while the screen is locked works fine too. Next, we have volume button customizations. After that, from keys, you can set the backlight timeout of hardware keys. And you can customize each home, menu or back key, single tap, double tap or tap and hold actions. Next, we have recents. We have clear all button over here. After that, we have lock screen customizations. From here, you can enable face auto unlock and we have lock screen charging info and etc. In gestures, we have three finger screenshot gesture and we have double tap to sleep option. From advanced settings, you can enable pocket detection if you want that and we have option to suspend each app action if you want that. Now let me jump into display settings. 
As you can see, night light is working fine here and you can customize the intensity of it. And we have adaptive brightness working fine. There are font and DPI changing option but there is no display size option, keep a note of that. And we have the UI color changing option over here, let me set it to dark. And you can change the accent color to these many options. Let me set it to green. And as you can see, the whole UI turns dark and green. And I think the Vaulty logo present here is new and it's pretty similar to Nitrogen OS. I mean the Vaulty logo. And the new thing over here is the new battery logo, I guess. Last time when I tried this, the square battery logo was not present as far as I remember. I may sound like I am being a little nitpicky here, but right after flashing the ROM, the Vaulty was not working. But after a reboot, it just started working fine afterwards. But no video calling, I mean no native video calling yet. And right now let's talk about the battery life. This is the most interesting part of this ROM. And with turning on the battery saver mode, I did not plug in the phone overnight. I just removed the charger and went to sleep with turning on the battery saver mode. And this is how much the battery drained overnight. And if you talk about general usage and screen on time and stuff, here is another example of that. So as you can see, pretty close to 7 hours of screen on time, which is amazing. If you talk that the phone is almost 2 years old or more than 2 years old and considering the battery is almost 2 years old, this is amazing. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys ask me the same question from today onwards, I'm gonna be answering that the AOS IP ROM is the most battery efficient ROM ever. Like at least for now. Yes, the face unlock is working fine. Here is an example of that. As you can see, the quick face unlock is working fine here and it's pretty fast, I gotta say. Yes, GC Mod 5 Portrait Mode Selfies is working fine in this ROM, so that's amazing. And in the stock launcher over here, all the apps shows notification numbers instead of dots, so that's amazing. If you look closely, the Play Store icon says one notification, so we have one notification over there. And for Allo, as you can see, I have four notifications for this app, so that's pretty dope. Conclusion, if you ask me, is it better than Resurrection Remix or Nitrogen OS? Well, talking about Resurrection Remix, in Resurrection Remix ROM, there are some bugs for Redmi Note 3 as of now, and there is some black screens and stuttering stuff like that that I faced personally, but in this ROM, there is no black screen or lags like that. Everything is smooth enough like Nitrogen OS, but in Nitrogen OS, the problem is the battery life is not that good. It's pretty bad if you consider this battery life of 7 hours of screen on time. And in Nitrogen OS, I used to get like 4, 4.5 or even with battery saver and stuff like that, 5 hours of screen on time. And that is it. But here, it's not the case. The battery life is just amazing. And the performance and stability of this ROM is so close to Nitrogen OS. If you are a custom ROM user and if you want most battery life out of your device, well, this is the ROM to go to. And it replaced my daily driver ROM which was Nitrogen OS till date. And I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna continue using this ROM as my daily driver ROM. But there are some cons in this ROM. One, you can't adjust the brightness with your finger on the status bar. And that's bad, I miss this feature a lot, but yeah, I can live without it as the ROM is so stable. And you can't adjust the column and row numbers of quick settings panel in this ROM as of now. It may be pushed with future updates, but as of now, I have no idea when. And there is no lock app option in recent apps panel, like which keeps the app in memory even if you clear all the apps. That is not present. So I'm gonna continue using this ROM, hope you have liked my work or what I said. 
try this from yourself you will know what i am talking about yes nitrogen os was my favorite 8.1 rom that's the truth and yes the customizations of this rom are less than nitrogen os of course but if you can live with that this rom is totally worth it that's it for today guys hope you have liked it please subscribe to the channel right here if you loved my work this has been Tito from Kerry and Tech signing off. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye now.